Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm Will and today I'm super excited because we are taking a look at a brand new floor plan by Alliance. Today we are at RV Open House and Alliance has a huge display set up here and it's really awesome because we get to take a look at all the brand new stuff up, upcoming and everything new for 2024. So today we're gonna take a look at this unit which is an Alliance Valor Model 44 V14. This is truthfully one of my favorite toy hauler floor plans that I've seen and it's mostly because of the inside I can't wait to show you guys. We're starting in three, two, one. All right guys, again, welcome back to another video. Today I'm really excited. We're taking a look at probably one of my favorite fifth wheel toy haulers. Now, truth be told, I've never been big into the toy haulers, right? Jen and I, we're not like doing dirt bikes or motorcycles or ATVs that much. So it's just taken away from living space that we would use truthfully. But when I saw this, I'm like, man, this is really cool because you can use this so much. Matt always says this and it's it's multi-purpose. You know, you can use it for additional sleeping. You can use it for toys, bikes, big stuff. Um, it's really awesome. And you guys might be wondering why I'm here. And again, we're at open house and um, Matt and Andrea are out and filming some motorhomes. And we only have three days here. So we had to divide and conquer. And if I'm here, who's behind the camera? Jen! Hey guys. How's it going? It's going good. I'm really excited that we are over here at Alliance. As you guys probably know, Will and I are on our second Alliance that we've owned. Um, Valor is like the, the one of the brands that we haven't had yet, right. but I saw this at Hershey. Mm. I got to peek in it, and like Will said, this is probably my favorite toy hauler I've ever seen. Yeah. This is one of the few toy haulers I've seen, and I'm like, you know, I actually could live in this because you, you guys see this. It's really cool. It so I, I'm excited to go check it out. Excited to be here at Alliance. Uh, Will and I are actually going around filming all the new floor plans. So make sure you guys stay tuned for future videos coming out showing you guys some of the new stuff here but without further ado will let's, okay. let's check out this toy hauler okay we'll start up front but again this is a 44 v14 but the actual tip to tip length is 45 feet 8 inches um dry weight is 16,500 pounds and that hitch weight is 3,100 pounds so this thing is big <laughs> it's heavy <laughs> it's a beast you're definitely going to want a one-ton dually for this yes. right no options no no, no options um yeah <laughs> like, yeah <laughs> we're not don't play around with this one right and i do want to show this front cap wheel so uh they're releasing a new graphics package for the yeah. valor this year and uh, so we'll kind of show that as we go down the side but one of my favorite parts of it is the front cap right. with the black and the gray they still have like the red that they've always had with the yeah. valor and really i love good. these lights like they're yeah, they're just really mean sleek, looking like kind of automotive yeah look. and yeah. they kind of have like that frosted right. look on the front of I it i really like it yeah you're using a kurt rotoflex pin box up front right here you got some storage your charge controller um valor has always been like the master of 12 volt so that's why they have that you got your battery box there this is locked i think yeah that's where but your, your generator, generator would be. be there and is the generator standard usually or it's still an option okay i have to double check so you know but it's more it, common with toy homes. yeah to get have that generator right here's your propane tank nice. and you can also see it's six point hydraulic auto leveling yep right here got nice storage pass-through storage but again, it comes with a lithium ion battery, 12 volt air compressor, and it is 101 inch wide body construction, which nice. is really nice. Power a, and coax there. Yep. You have a nice big awning up front. And Let's you can kind of see like the rest of the graphics here. I like that they made the storage doors black just to, to make it look right. seamless. Make it look sleek. Nice more, uh, sorry, nice lipper solid steps. And they are hydraulic assisted, nice. so they're easy to raise and lower. Nice big grab handle and alliance does use asdale asdale is a composite material and it will never delaminate on you coming down the side nice jbl speakers Got Outside some power. power again both of these awnings and look at these tires jen they're the starlings i love Let's those see. i love those <laughs> ST 235-85 R16. Moride CRE 3000 right there. Very nice. We do have another awning here. Yes. So lots of space underneath the awning. Second entry door. And yep. these are these are the um, aluminum steps. Yep. Which is which fine is for fine. the second yeah. door. Yeah. And then right here, I always forget, one side is storage. I believe the other side is the air compressor, but I have to double check okay. that one coming around back you can see one nice thing is we actually are able to get have the 
ramp down or the yeah. get down. So this doubles as a patio, which you, is how you see it now, but it also can drop down as a ramp so that you can load your toys up in yep. the back. You have a nice awning to also cover back here and a backup camera up top. Nice. And you can kind of see from the outside, but it does have screen doors. Oh yes. You can do all season. You can do like, um, I think they call them all season or three season doors. So that they're like the glass, kind of like if That's you have like one more of those insulated. rooms. Yeah. Like a little, like, like a sunroom. Kind of like a sunroom, yeah. Yeah. But you can also, if it's nice outside and you want some breeze coming in, but no bugs, you could just close the screen doors. Right. 50 amp power, your fuel station, all that is right here. So the other side must be that air compressor. Yeah. Your ladder, get up on the one piece PVC roof. Nice. Up top, you will see there's solar already on there, three AC units standard, yep. all that good stuff. Coming down, watch your stuff. I think this is a, yeah, this is a trash chute right nice. there. Nice. Which we have that up here now, we just use it as extra storage. Yeah. Right there is your um, dump station. Which I'll say isn't the best location, but it's also not, even though it's underneath the slide, like it's still close enough to the edge you can access. Yeah, it's not terrible. Sure. Furnace, hot water heater right here. This is the other side of that storage. Dang, they got all of these. Yeah, they changed that up a little bit, okay. huh? Yeah, this is a contraption going on here, Well, huh. So, I wonder why they changed that. I don't know. Probably like, to give you more control so that if something Yeah, wrong, like it's actually, oh, it, it's oh, kind of, oh, oh. so it's individual shutoff valves for everything. Yeah. So it's that's actually, actually cool. That is cool. So, okay. So typically you're not even going to worry about this. You have your city water, tank flush, winterization there, and then your city fill. Mm -hmm. Like, so you'll have it on dry camp right there, which you're using your tank right. or you'll push it to do city fill. Um, but city That's, fill, but how do you switch it to just city water? That's like filling your tank, right? Yeah, I think once you just screw it into the city water, then it just goes to your pipes until you're ready to fill it. Gotcha. So these used to be under the cabinets at each location. So now I guess they're doing them here, which is cool. So it's kind of nice like labeled. So if you were having some sort of issue or leak or you had to mess with the plumbing, yeah. you can come out here and like individually turn off, you know, exactly water to that to that one drain sir and then one, one nice pipe. thing is alliance knows things always go wrong right doesn't matter what type of rv you have so they have this panel here and i can't reach it but that can open I up can show you there well. you go so they do this in a lot of the alliances so then you can access everything back here if you have an issue it's not like a pain in the butt to get back there right you don't have to unscrew and then, things and then you can just put that back there you go very nice there's your exhaust there for your generator yep other side of your propane and your auto leveling right here oh and look at that yeah, convenient yeah. snacks and candy <laughs> thank you I don't want to do <laughs> right oh, good. well guys the outside of this valor looks great but i'm telling you i'm telling you now i'm telling you now <laughs> it's the inside that looks even better let's go take a look all right you better skip it for all these important people <laughs> Okay, there's people in there. So we are going to take a quick second and thank the sponsor of today's video. Are you looking to make your mark on the RV industry? Well, look no further than Lippert Scouts. As a member of the Lippert Scouts community, you'll have your opportunity to share feedback on products and services that you've used during your adventures. Your insight will be used to drive innovation and development for years to come. You could be the key to unlocking the next big thing in RV. But Lippert Scouts isn't just about making a difference. It's also about connecting fellow RVers and campers in an awesome community, guys. Swap tips, hacks, your favorite camping stories, and make new friends that have that same passion for the outdoors as you do. And if you need support, no problem. There's Lippert customer care team members on that app, always available and willing to help. Guys, join Lippert Scouts today. It's completely free. You can get to it on Facebook, or now they have the app. You can get it for Apple and Android. You can get the full experience at your fingertips. Don't wait. Be a part of this great community that is really shaping the future of RV. Join Lippert Scouts today. All right. All right, guys. Up here in the front, that's your bedroom. Bathroom in the middle. Then coming down the stairs, got your mid-kitchen area. And wow, this is what we were talking about, yeah. Wells. Huge sectional living room. And then got your garage in the very back here. You want to start back with the garage? Yeah, let's start back here. 
so toy haulers in the back are pretty, you know, pretty similar, but you can see a nice big patio. What do we say this was? A 15 foot garage? 14, 14 foot. 14 foot, yeah. Nice uh, patio on the back with your all season doors, awning and everything. And then the reason that Matt calls these like the Swiss Army knives, you have a bed up here. This is a bed, but this also flips up. I don't want to mess with their display, but yeah. it becomes um, a couch or a dinette as well. Usually there's a table somewhere and you can put that in the center or all of these go up and you can bring your toys in here and you can see the number of tie downs yeah. that they have here. It's really, really cool. I love that they do so you can like set it up however exactly, you want. Exactly, exactly. Up top you got a little storage, nice TV, works off a 12 volt and a loft up there. More sleeping. Yes. Nice half bath. Yeah, nice half bath in here. I'll give it a try, although I think it's going to be... Dang. That's it's not bad. Well, so it's not going to pass because of this. It's kind of in the way. Oh, I see. Yeah. But other than that, it's actually like pretty good. For a half bath, it's really yeah, good. Yeah, it's very good, especially for a toy hauler half bath. You could put the toilet paper holder right there. Right there, yeah. That's not in your way. Nice mirror, a little window here, and then a small sink, which is all you need for back here. Very nice. All right, going inside. Oh, washer dryer prep as well, yes. right there. And all your controls, your Put AC, yeah. you have all that good stuff. Awning for the back. In here, again, this this is why I love this floor plan. Yeah. I love this L-shaped sectional. You got plenty of storage up top, all the way across. Oh, and I noticed that they, at least in this floor plan, they fixed that issue with yeah. like, the cabinet doors. Yeah, hitting each other. I was never crazy about that. Yeah, but it's all good. So it's better to have it straight across. Tons of storage up there. It is tons of storage. Nice big atrium windows yes. here. And again, this this whole couch area, it's it's so nice and big. These seats recline or something, I think. There's it's a parachute. Yeah. So I remember this at Hershey. So these that two, these two recline, and those and two then these recline. two recline. So and tons here, of recliner seating no, space. On this side. Nice flush floor on the slide out. Oh, cup, cool. cup holder, nice cup holder right there. And what's really, really good is from all these seats, you have a really good viewing angle of the yep. TV Entertainment Center. Storage up top, nice big HD TV by Sansui. Sound system JBL, and then a fireplace right there that does produce heat from electricity. Very nice, Well, Nice little, I guess it'd be like a nut coffee nook here. Yeah. You've got plenty of storage up top, a little spot for coffee, nice backsplash. Um, your, another AC controller, power, max air, and storage right there. Put my little Nespresso there. There you go. A nice dinette here. And what's really nice, so this side has plenty of space. That side's going to be a little bit tighter, but that's all good. You yeah. know what I mean? I'd rather have we'll it like this. It on that side, I can squeeze it yeah. in there. Really nice big windows here. I really like the number of windows in here. Yeah, and they're huge. And um, I like the balances too. Like they're just nice neutral they light are, gray. Yeah. Well, Jen, do you know what time it is? It's, it's now time, time for, for the, the MSRP. MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. Excuse me, sorry. <laughs> so um, guys, we're at open house, like we said earlier, we don't have MSRPs or sale price or anything while we're here. But hopefully Jen can pull it up by the time she's editing this video and she will put it right here. Bing! Um, so there's MSRP. Unfortunately, with Alliance, since it's a current model year, we're not allowed to advertise sale price. So we won't have a sale price here. But it doesn't matter what the sale price is, was, or will be. We can always get you an even better sale price. All you have to do is go to Matt's, sorry, go to generalrv.com slash Matt's Cash. Fill out the form. It'll go to somebody on our team, and they will reach out and get you the best price in America. You can also get there by... Uh, using the link below or go to our website mattsreviewreviews.com and click on the tab that you're ready to buy and it'll take you there. Jen, finally, they can also call 844-969-4033. I'm starting to remember now. If I'm not good for anything, it's memorizing yes. all this stuff. <laughs> um, you guys can call that number. It goes directly to our team. Reach out to them um, and they'll get back to you with the best price in America. Absolutely. You want to show us this kitchen? I would love to. Okay. Okay, so starting off over here, you have your 12 volt fridge. How is this supposed to open? Or is it just, oh, from the bottom, I guess. Okay. So, a little bit of a smaller fridge, but yep. it's not terrible. Yeah. And then you have your fri or freezer down here. Okay. A little okay. pull out drawer. Some storage above. Okay. And then this, yeah, there's your pantry. I love when they do the adjustable shelves. I do too. It's I the see best. them going more and more to it. Yeah. Um, as we've been walking through today. And it does have power in there, which Good. thank you because. 
that is where you could actually put your uh, vacuum. Yeah. You have it charging in there, so it's out of the way. So I love that. Okay. Coming into the kitchen, nice uh, big single bowl sink here with a pull down faucet, solid surface countertops. Nice. There's some storage underneath there, tons okay. of storage. Love how they're doing the no boots on the floor. Yeah, that's awesome. It's on the side there. <clears throat> storage up top. Okay. A lot of storage space. Yeah. Up here above the microwave. Uh, this is a Greystone regular microwave, but yep. nice big one. Mm -hmm. And then you do have a Greystone uh, four burner propane stove and oven. Okay. And then turkey tested. Turkey approved. Gobble, gobble, gobble. Uh, over here is that uh, trash chute that we showed okay, on the outside. Yep. So if you want, you can actually keep your trash can there and take the trash out from outside the RV. Over here, wow, lots of storage. Yes. Soft closed hinges. I like how they do the glass front. I mean, like I'm, I'm conflicted if I like the glass front or not, but at least it's darkened so you can't see. Right, it. right. Um, countertop space here. It's not super deep counter space, but it's still like usable. Drawers here. Okay. One more down there. And these drawers are reinforced with wood yeah. underneath, so you can put more weight in it and not worry about the drawer falling out. Okay. That is where your all your breakers and fuses are. Nice. And then, oh, we got one more little... Um, so that's just accessing that same right. storage, and then here's all of your, like, controls, um, your, your like light how that's dimmers. behind the door. Yeah, so it makes it look a little prettier. And then, oh, well, we do have a beer opener we here. We do. Psh, Marka. John Cena. There you go. And that's your generator control and all that. Nice. All right, coming up the steps. Put that camera back well so you can show okay. us the shower. In here, you have a nice big encore shower with actually like a step down. So, I mean, they, they were really thinking about us tall folks. <laughs> us tall folks. <laughs> nice uh, wide shower, nice and deep, and plenty of head height. Yep. This definitely passes. Bing! That's a shower test seal of approval. It is. And then coming over here, two mirrors, which I like. So nice to get ready in the morning. Okay, so got like small storage here. I like how they, oh, it's not segmented here. No. But um, you do have more up here. And then there's like a <clears throat> big storage nook that go. Yeah, oh, is that that's the top of the cabinets. But I don't think you can add. I no, because it's, so it's too tall. So this is its own. So like yeah. you could like stuff your towels and stuff in there. That's I cool, guess, yeah. If you want. Down here, a little nook for more storage. Got your sink. Um, nice countertop space. More storage underneath the sink. And then let's give this a try. Well, this porcelain, right? Yeah. Okay. Unfortunately, well, the angle of this, I'm like really rubbing on the oh, side. Okay. And if I was like you or Matt, I would definitely be yeah. like rubbing up here. So, unfortunately, this is not a prime pooping position. Oh, man. Womp, 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 womp. Womp. Two doors coming into the bathroom so you can access from the I hall do like the that. Bedroom. And then in the bedroom here, we got our. Should I just turn it back to you? Sure. Or I'm taking over. You show us the bedroom. Okay. In here, you have a nice king size bed, three windows, um, storage underneath the bed right here. Just like nice. that. Lots of storage. Lots of storage. Over here, you have a nice Connex TV. Plenty of, of uh, drawer space, hidden secret storage there. And three of these drawers here. And I do like how it's open down there so you can put Yeah, you can put your shoes well. down there. Over here in the middle, you have a closet space that is washer dryer prep side by side, or you can use it for closet space. Yep. And then over here, either way, you have more closet space and a couple drawers right there. And then you have the same thing on the other side. And I really like how these are adjustable, actually. I love that, yeah. So you can make them any height you want. And if you like folding clothes more, and maybe you don't need it to hang as much, yeah. you can just use that. And then there's nothing over here, is there? Okay. Same thing. It's this side. Oh, really? Oh, cool. I didn't know it was on the other side, too. So yep. nice. Cool. Well, Jen, that's it. That wraps up the review of this awesome Valor. But before we go, uh, it's time for us to give you three things we like and three things we dislike about this. What should we do first? Let's do likes first. Okay. You want right. me to go first? You go first. Okay. You already know where I'm going because I've yeah, been talking to you about this for a while. I love this L-shaped couch. Yes. I love how it's just a lounge. It's a good, it's a good hangout space. All that good stuff. I love it. Yep. So. Yeah, that's the most Simple, obvious like in here. Yeah. This is like, we, we were talking to Joe Mel here at Alliance and you kind of have two different toy hauler markets. You have people that truly want to use the garage yeah. space for toys, and you have people that 
are actually like living in it probably full time and mm -hmm. they want a lot of seating space and the that's more multi-purpose space for right, them an extra right. bedroom outside seating yeah. you know um, so I think for the full timers that are like living in it this is a such a good option you still have tons of seating yeah so cool. all right that's like number one like number two I'm actually gonna give it to the new exterior graphics okay on the outside. good I think that that looks really cool it's different I uh, love the front cap with like, yeah. the gray and black and the, yeah. the light accent. So I think they did a really good job on the new, uh, you know, color scheme and decal, not color scheme, but like decal design right. for the outside. So that's like number two. Do you have a like number three, Will? Um, yeah. Okay. To us. I kind of jump piggybacking off of this. I love how you have seating for like five and a half, six ish. But also, you still have a dinette in here that's very True. comfortable. Yep. I really like that. And you could probably turn this to be a desk if you wanted as yeah, well. Yeah, more bar style seating yeah. at the window. So Absolutely. I'm glad that they did that. Well, guys, that's three things we like about this floor plan. Now it's time for three things we dislike. You ready for me to go first again? I'm ready. Okay. I'm going to take thing, mine. <laughs> am I? Sorry. One thing is this kitchen is pretty small. And I was kind of talking to Jenna. I wish they took like a foot or two from the garage and put it here in the kitchen mm -hmm. or maybe even like three feet and put a foot in the bathroom as well. Yeah. You know, give you a little more space. It's just pretty, pretty tight in here. Yeah. So. Yep. That's so that's just like number one. Mm -hmm. I'm having a hard time finding dislikes in here for, for a toy haul. They did a great job. One thing I'm going to say, and I don't know the solution, but and it's kind of, again, what Will was just talking about with the kitchen size, but look at the amount of space between the yeah, couch that's and the slide out. Yeah, I know. So I don't know the solution. But this just feels like in an RV, like that's so much wasted space. Yeah. Okay. So that's gonna, I think that's gonna be my number two. And then do you have a number three? Yeah, I'm stretching a little bit. It's hard, but coming up here, and maybe I'm biased. I'm used to our nice big closet. This feels a little choppy to me, honestly. Yeah. I wish that they did the normal side, you know, the right. washer and dryer on one side and the other. Yeah. Um, just made it one big space. It just made it one big space. It's yeah. a little choppy in my yeah. opinion. It's like the concept's kind of cool, deal, but, but in usability, I, I see it yeah. being annoying. Yeah. So. Well, guys, that's it. That's the review. Thank you so much for joining us and bearing with me and Jen as we not only are we trying to learn but we're also getting kind of interrupted because this event is for the manufacturers basically to, to sell to the dealerships so we got to be a little you know we have to be more accommodating of them than they do to us yes. so um i need to chop up the video a little bit but hopefully it comes yeah. together good and um again if you're interested in this you know or any other alliance that we sell make sure to go to generalrv.com slash mats cash Fill out that form. It'll take you to somebody on our team. And again, you can get there from go from that link or go to mattsreviewreviews.com. Click on the link down below or 844-969-4033. Jen, anything you want to say to America? Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. As Will said, um, you know, we're trying to... We're not used to like doing the whole review without Matt. So thanks for bearing with us and hopefully you still enjoyed it. Um, I'm excited to show you guys all of this, um, you know, cool new floor plans and new stuff from Alliance this year. So I'm, I'm just really excited to be here. Open house is always like actually really fun it for is, me. Yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching. Leave down in the comments below three things that you like about this new toy hauler floor plan and three things you don't like about it. I'm excited to hear you guys' feedback and make sure to um, hit the thumbs button and subscribe if you haven't already. Cool. Thank you guys so much for watching. And Jen, we'll, we'll see, see you next time. time.